Okay, so today, before I go into the video, sorry about a little mess there. I'm trying to clean my um, 4x4 uh, carburetor because I feel like uh, using my 4x4 this week. So, <laughs> sorry about the mess over there. Um, I just want to concentrate on here today. And I'm going to show you a little secret that I've done. Um, I've done a video recently. I talk about um, allergies, but apparently um, I thought it was actually eczema. Um, I have dealt with it for the longest time. Um, so I thought. Um, now, it, to find out that I was actually allergic to um, soap. And not just any soap, but liquid soap. And I was allergic to the three ingredients, um, which I'll list on the screen right now for you. And I will, all, I will also put them in the description so you know what what I found so far, okay? Because some just produce rashes, some it just makes me itches, some it makes me tired. So in the description, okay? And you have a moment and check that out. Now, before I go into the video, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, this video is going to be gross. Um, so, but it is medical. And it is about eczema. Now, a lot of people learn that they thought it was eczema. I thought I had eczema, to be honest, truthfully. Uh, nine years going on 10th that I've been have I've been dealing with with this thing I called eczema and it got worse and worse and worse and I I went to doctors they made they made patch tests blah 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 but funny thing is they did not go in they thought it was food allergy but they did not go into liquid soap liquid soap allergies and believe it or not I was finally this month by playing around um i have that video up here if you want to watch it i went into detail i'll leave it right up here so if you want to watch that it's right up here right now for you um i talk about how i how i did it and i, I like i swear for the past nine years i thought it was eczema and i actually saved a lot of my skin to do this video and warning one more time yes it is going to be gross this is actually my skin the peeling of my skin okay and if you guys are one of those people okay i'm gonna pan it out see if i'm able to pan it out a little bit right there i don't know if you'll be able to see it my camera hopefully will pick up it's supposed to pick up right there probably that's the best area okay and I'm gonna give you something else it peels as big as this right here look at that look how big that piece is okay I don't know if you'll be able to see them in but it's big I don't know probably like at least eight centimeter eight to ten Yes, I saved a few so I can make this video for you. A few. Look at that one. This is at least 10 right here. Right there. This one's at least 10, 10 millimeter bubble big. And yes, it comes out of my ears. Mm -hmm. Around my ears. And I am telling you, I've been dealing with this for a long time. And if anyone, if anyone listen and, and see this video about eczema, you know it. And it's a, it's, it's a hard, hard road. Let me tell you that. It is a very hard road. And I had them in my, like around my stomach. I had them in my ears. I had them in my scalp. I have them and it itches like crazy. And that's what I thought. It was actually eczema. Okay. 
and it's peeling like crazy and you know how it see how my smooth my skin is now no longer itching I used to have a bunch of them I used to have it right here especially and right up here oh my god this area right here oh my god but I am now allergy free and not because of eczema and like I stated and I'll state it one more time I thought it was eczema but it wasn't it was actually soap that make me itch and one thing I'm gonna clear this out and just like that video it was airborne and believe it or not yes it is airborne and I'll explain it really quick for you when my grandmother take a shower or when my dad come over take a shower and he use my soap or use the soap that is inside a house or shampoo I started to get itch and that's what it gets all over the place and it itch and this is where I comes this is how I found out and with these two ingredients right here not ingredients but two products I'll show you that in a minute and it itches like crazy and I could not figure it out and all this time I could not figure it out because I use liquid soap I use a lot of liquid soap we use you know even even laundry uh-huh you're gonna have to watch out if you're listening to this video right now and you have eczema you need to watch out for laundry laundry soap have it too some not all so you have to go and dig you find the three ingredients that I list on the screen and you go and research on your own when they don't have it, that's when you know you are safe some product though I can tell you offhand some product they are starting to hide them because proprietary they don't want you to learn they don't want people to copy them but here's the thing there's only like three ingredients in all the liquid soap I don't know why they're hiding it for everybody knows how to if you really go into it I actually have a formula in in one of my video actually teaching people how to make those uh-huh so I don't know why they're hiding it for but anyway maybe someday I'm gonna teach people how to make those now and because of those because of suave and like I said I stated in that video over there that I have it up here I actually really like this company now I never ever liked their, that company but I started to like them now because they actually paid attention and they start to make less prone allergy prone product and here's how I did it like it like like everybody and if you listen into this video like everybody we find everything, everything on this planet to cover our eczema. From lotion, from whatever, all kind of lotion, oatmeal, bath, uh, bar soap to take bath with, blah, 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 blah. If you listen to this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? Here's how I did it and here's how I found out because I tried everything. I did this video about two months ago, a little bit more before that, because it took a while for me to edit it, and because I was busy because of during the pandemic. And I test this. This is actually hair gel, okay. And before I go into that, I show you how to do it. You make sure you go to an area that that have less, okay, the number. Okay, because they have numbers on these. Like this one right here. You see how it says 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10? Well, this company actually makes less than that. Get the lowest number, okay? I could not find it for you guys to make this video. Because I made it some another video, but doesn't matter. Just get the lowest number, okay? Please remember, just get the lowest number. Do not get the higher number like here, okay? Get like 6, 7, or whatever. Okay. The reason why we want that is just we want one ingredient in here. It's called carbo, carbomer or carbo gel. Okay. And that's all you have to remember. Just carbo gel. And here's what I did. This was my experiment and it worked. And that's how I was able to find that I was actually allergic to those things. Because remember, airborne. What I did was I took gel or hair gel the clear ones find the clear ones okay you don't need anything spectacular this from the dollar store so if you have a dollar store dollar tree around your house around where you live or whatever go to the dollar tree and get one of those 
It's only a dollar. Here's what you do. Let's say I have eczema right over here. What you do is you cover it. Okay? And let it dry. Okay? So that way there's a film on that. So let's say there's a circle right here. My eczema is right here. There's a film now on that. If the itch start to relieve, okay, let it let it dry. Once it dry, it films a coating on here. And when that does, when that does, this is how you know. When airborne, remember, this is for airborne only. If it's something else, you won't. I explained that in that video is that when it's airborne the particles from these not these soap but other soaps that doesn't have the ingredients that I show you earlier they fly all over the house when someone take a shower when someone washing their hands um, take a bath whatever it flew all over the place because it's airborne remember that they're sort of like pollen and what happens is this thing will dry up. The particle that flies around cannot attach it because now we have made a barrier. Understand? So, that's what I did. I started to use these because I had them laying around. I no longer make the video. So I said, you know what? What if I try to cover it? Just to, just to see if, if, if it's smooth. You know, soothing or whatever. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I like to experiment things. So, I started to have itchy, less itchy patches. Then I tried them in, like, right above my stomach. I have another patch in my stomach and it could not go away. It's like, it seems like patches. And I applied this to my ear too. Uh-huh. So, I, I tested for, like, maybe around a week. Every time I, um, I didn't shower for days and because I had to do this, I didn't shower for days because I knew that it has to something to do with the air. I just could not pinpoint that and it's very important to pinpoint things, to get to the bottom of it and that's what I did. So I used these carbo gels and that's how I discovered that by putting this on, it made a film over this. And when that happens, the particles, the little particles that are flying around all over the place, cannot attach itself to here. Because of that, it stopped itching. Mm hmm. Now remember, sometimes if you breathe, mm hmm, breathe in. The particle enter your body and it react the same way. But when someone taking a shower or something, turn on the fan and try not to be in the room or whatever. And when you don't breathe that stuff in and, and, and there's no way for it to attach to your skin, you'll be able to find out. And that's how I was able to find out that I was allergic to soap. But not any type of soap. It was the other soap. I got rid of them all now. I only use Suave. And they're the safest one around. And no, I'm not advertising for them whatsoever either. But that's how I discovered. That actually it was a false eczema. It was not eczema. I thought it was eczema. But it was not eczema. And oh boy. Finally, finally, after nine years of suffering of, from this, my skin is now all clear because of that. My ears, around my ears, in the back of my ears, have a lot of flakes like this coming out. And I could not understand. It's depend on the person. It's like uh, the person can, can develop before I go. It can be on the scalp. Like... Like, you think it's dandruff, but it's not. It could be behind the ears, like in my case. In the ear, for some people. Around the neck. 
around sensitive area like here, under your armpit, uh, crotch, uh, on the back of your butt. Um, I have a patch in close to my belly button. Um, if you are a woman, underneath your breast, underneath the armpit, men will be around the crotch, some, some. And that could be anywhere around the body. And that's what made me went into this venture. And now I was able to, now I am eczema free. Can you believe, can you believe that all there was, was actually was in the three ingredients. I'll list it one more time right here for you. And I thought it was eczema. But in my case, in my case, it is not. And in many, many people's case, they're probably thinking the same way that they have eczema. But it does not hurt. Please remember this video. It does not hurt for you to go on this journey to go and test this out because this only cost me a dollar. Even if you go to a regular store and buy them, they're only two, three dollars. But imagine that helped me to diagnose that I am no longer have eczema. Can you imagine that is only a few days? Can you imagine how much my skin shred in few days? Sort of like a snake. Can you imagine? And because of that, my skin is all smooth because of it. And now my skin is all smooth again. Everywhere on my body is all smooth again because I no longer have eczema. And all because of this. And yes, if they don't have the number six or whatever you can use number 10 because it's a protection it's just that i think i think for this one right here i think they put more alcohol in because it's a, it's it's a gel you see that because this is supposed to go to your hair and because of that it it it, it made a a um you see how it works it made it protects it made a protective coating so sort of like a skin on top of that by having that on there, the 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 particles in the air. Look, remember I told you it's airborne. It cannot land on your skin, and that's how I was able to pinpoint that it was airborne. It was not eczema. So a lot of people out there probably have this symptom and they don't even know it. So. If you have eczema and you think you have eczema, you think you have allergy, you think you have law, you may want to look into what I did. And that's how I discovered liquid allergies, liquid soap allergy, all because of testing this out. Because I, I to be honestly, I put these on to, to soothing it, to, to protect it. To maybe I'm like, maybe it'll work. Who knows, right? But then I started to realize that I was making a, 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 a like a, a, a band-aid, like a look of band-aid, you know, covering it. So then stuff cannot land on it to hurt my, not to, to make my skin irritate. And that's how I was able to discover this. And all because of this, thankfully for this right here. And that's how I made my discovery that styling gel made a coating on your skin and that protects it mm-hmm i'm gonna try this on poison ivy next i'm gonna see if actually will work on that i'm not sure though <laughs> i'll probably make a separate video if it does but anyway i hope um that's about it on this video and i hope you find this useful and i hope that for the people who are suffering of eczema wanted to pay attention to yourself and give this method a try to see if it actually airborne uh, allergy rather than eczema because everybody's always think eczema 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 but in my case if it itch it like lot likely not to be eczema please remember that okay when it itches it is likely allergy rather than eczema because eczema not supposed to itch that's my understanding of it, okay? I'm not sure, 100% sure, but that's my understanding of it. Other than that, that's about it on this video, and I hope you find it useful. And I will see you in the next video, okay?